This is the first time that we test the performance of a completed loudspeaker. Up until this point, what we've tested are the individual bits. This is the first time it's all together, and we can test the whole thing. So full frequency sweep, plus a rub and buzz to make sure that nothing's going to behave in an untoward way. Assuming it passes, and there is no guarantee, but assuming it passes, at that point it will go forward to here for final clean and inspection. If you look just past the chamber there, you'll see some speakers in fairly wacky colours. Now when we saw up there those copy boards, those line references, these are line references for complete loudspeakers. So each one of those represents a sample model of the models that this line makes. 803, 802, 801, and of course 801 signature. And they are painted in those wacky colours so they don't get confused with regular stock and packed up and sold out. So they are used, like the, the line references we saw up there, to calibrate the chamber. So the guys know they're going to build an 801 signature line, like we're doing today. They'll wheel that guy out. That'll go into the chamber first. They'll measure that. It should match. If it does, we know we're right and we move forward. This is the end of the line when it comes to building 800s. Just directly behind me over there is the line that builds 805, 804 in the centers. This one right here is the one that builds the headed models. Okay? From here, as you can see behind you, working away, they're final clean, final inspected, they're packed in box, and they're taken straight into the warehouse and ready to ship. Okay? What we're gonna do now is we're gonna take a couple minutes walk, we need to stay together, and we're gonna go to the area where we do everything by hand. It's almost like a different factory. It's in this building, but unlike everything that you've seen so far is all about robots and automation and precision, this is where people are making Nautilus the same way where they've been making it for 30 years. And that's where we're going to conclude our tour, okay? So anything you do by hand, for example, a custom paint job, in here. Any smaller component, for example, a turbine head, in here. There are three chambers, two very small ones, slightly larger. Uh, uh, this is Rob, this is Alfie. These two guys are responsible for making now 84 Nautilus. I yeah, saw you downstairs. This is where we make the Nautilus. Um, we, in here we make one shell a week and a set of tubes, so you can see we've got some tubes flying around over there. That's a cabinet that's pretty much ready to be popped out of the mould. We're going to be pop releasing that tomorrow morning. Uh, Rob's very commonly been doing the finishing touches on it. So I'll sort of take you through our week. So Monday, generally, we'll make a, a small and a medium tube. So as you can see there. We also make what we call the outlets. I'll show you those at the moment because they're actually inside the cab. But they essentially create housing to hold the tubes. Quite an important bit, you're never going to see it, but anyway, so uh, Tuesday we make a front, but we've got the front mould there, we've got an example of the front, I should grab that, just show you, sorry, front here. So with fiberglass, always starts with gel coat, that's the first thing we apply. It's like a thick um, gloss paint, and that's by a hyper rush, do two coats of that, and then we start laminating inside. So we'll cut various pieces and uh, we get a polyester resin, catalyze it with the uh, organic peroxide and then we start uh, laying it up, wetting it out and it's literally rollers, brushes, just prod, 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 roll, 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 roll get all the air out of it, um, there's no one any air because that can lead to cavities and things like that and um, so yeah that's an example piece, I mean you hold that, that's very strong but weighs absolutely nothing um, so that's pretty much all of Tuesday taken up making the front. Uh, we also do prep work on the on the main moulds and we get a gel on them so that we can come in Wednesday and start laying up the two halves. So obviously this separates into two halves. Rob will take one, I take the other. And it's literally a case of like we did on the front, laying in big pieces of this stuff, which we call chop strand mat, wet out with the resin, and again we're rolling it, rolling it. We're, we're working for about two hours just on that one bit. Just, and um, it's an 11 hour day on a Wednesday, so it's our longest day. We've got a lot to squeeze in. Um, Wednesday afternoon, we then join the two halves, and that's a very intense kind of 10, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. We've got two chemical processes going on at the same time, and we need to get those halves up together and bolted. If we don't, it's going in the bin, and the weeks are lost. Luckily, that's never happened. Um, and then yeah, so front will go on Wednesday evening, then we'll come to Thursday today, and where well, you've been doing that today. Yeah, well. yeah. So Thursday, when 
we come in, that front mould would have been attached there. And then today I've been installing a, a plywood baffle, which is up in there, and then fiberglass all over that, so it seals it in. And then we've got a tongue piece, it's shaped like a tongue for obvious reasons. So that will continue the spirals. And then this tongue area, that finishes it off to seal it off. And then again, we put sheets of fiberglass on that, soak it out with the resin, roll it all out to then seal it. And then we had the base post, which is that's still warm because the resin's curing. So that's now gone nice and solid. And yeah, that's the last bit I did. Put the label in and then that's it. Tomorrow morning, when we come in tomorrow, we'll unbolt the two halves, shove some scrapers in, few spats, and then it should go pop and then we'll have an orders. We don't ever want, I think I've said it earlier on, we don't ever, ever want to get into a situation where we're making 10 of these a week for a whole bunch of reasons. You know, it's, it's not that kind of product. But if we can get to a situation where the guys can make a pair a week, that would be great. That would, I think, be more than enough to meet the demand, meet the needs, keep everybody satisfied, but also keep it what it is, which is rare and special. We hope you've enjoyed this factory tour of Bowers and Wilkins as much as we have, getting a deeper dive into how these amazing speakers are built. We'd like to thank everybody at Bowers and Wilkins, but especially Andy Kerr, their Director of Product Marketing. Visit our website, gramophone.com, to learn more about Bowers and Wilkins and all of our fine brands. Visit Sky by Gramophone, where you always get secure checkout, fast and free shipping straight to your door. Or come visit us at our stores in Timonium, Columbia, and Gaithersburg, Maryland. And check out our wonderful new experience center in Timonium. We look forward to seeing you soon.